Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor, and today I want to talk to you about Chemistry 101. I'm just teasing. We're going to talk about pH. Let's keep it really simple, okay? pH is really a measure of acid, which is like vinegar, and baking soda, which is like alkaline. And I'm going to tell you what I've just learned from my experience is that I've had patients come into our office that have been diagnosed with cancer. Now, this doesn't happen every time, but it's very interesting how many of them tend to have a lower pH in their body, like 4, which is very acid. And what I have read and what I've learned over time is that cancer cells tend to love an acid pH or an acid environment. Let's switch over to the other side, or the alkaline side, which tends to be more purple. Purple is alkaline. I can share this with you. If you have an alkaline pH, statistically, your chances of having cancer are reduced. But I want you to know one thing. You could have fibromyalgia, joint pain, and sometimes digestive distress. This happens to be some test paper that we use in our practice. And the best way, now listen, I'm going to share this one with you, to take your pH is first thing in the morning before you get out of bed. That means you don't want to be moving because there's a reflex that kicks in that starts to change your pH immediately. And so this is breaking the rules because it's not first thing in the morning when I'm getting out of bed, but I'm going to test myself right now. And if you looked at this, my color is in the, the green-blue area. And I like to see the pH be about 6.5. You just don't want to have yellow tape, so I have a good test. That's really exciting to have. But I want to share a little bit more with you about acid and alkaline and how important this is. People who get cold sores tend to have an acid pH that puts a demand on the calcium in their body. You get cold sores because you don't have enough calcium. I just wanted to throw that out to you because you're probably underneath some type of stress. So pH is really important. You might monitor it once a month. You could actually do blood tests to monitor how your pH is doing. We check our patient's globulin level and we check their carbon dioxide level and their chloride level. We don't have enough time to talk about that right now. Get yourself some pH testing strips. Do it first thing in the morning. It'll make a huge difference. So let me give you some action steps right now. If your pH is really acid or yellow looking, you want to really focus on some green food. That'll tend to make you a little bit more alkaline. On the other end, if you're really alkaline, I'd cut back on citrus. Because citrus can make you very alkaline. I'm just trying to make a difference in your life right now. Don't drink water with your meals. It's going to dilute the pH. And if you have a lot of digestive distress, you may consider adding some apple cider vinegar. It helps promote digestion. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.